Okay, so this is a quick video to allow you to find the applications for Chapter 5. So from the student point of view, if you go into Class Resources and go down to Applications for Chapter 5, notice that each one has a video. So if you click on that link at the top there, you'll be taken to a video. So here's the video that accompanies the first one. And notice that you also have the live file here, so you can edit this. Remember the probabilities have to add up to one. You can download the file from the link at the bottom, so there it is. So notice that here is a discrete probability distribution that's simply showing you what that looks like. Here's one where it's computing the statistics. And recall that these have to add up to one, so make sure that those add up to one when you're um, putting that information in. Here's another one, much larger, where it's showing each piece and how it found that data. And then for a, uh, a lottery example, and finally the binomial probability calculator showing you where each piece comes from, and then the uh, binomial probably di distribution and you can find that inside of the online version of GeoGebra as well. And remember for each of these there's the accompanying video. So here's the video for that, how to get to it, and stuff like that. If you're going in through Canvas, you're going to go into Class Resources and then notice that they're all lined up here for you. If you go into one of them you can see that it also has the video. So link to how to use it. You can download it or you can view it inside of GeoGebra as an applet embedded in GeoGebra. And you can also use the embedded applet inside of Canvas. And then of course you can get between each of these without going back to that first page just by going next in Canvas because it won't show you all of them at once. So that's how to get into the applications that we're using this semester for um, all of the chapters, but definitely for um, chapter 5.